Alright, what's up YouTube? You're here with Elijah from Juggernaut Reptiles. And I got a couple animals in today. Um, I brought these animals a while ago. But we've had a pretty crazy winter out here, so I had to wait for them for the perfect day. And just got them in. Um, if you hear any crying or screaming, that's just my daughter. Trying to check in on the action. So, don't mind her. But we're going to get started right now. So what I got. Back there, this guy, and this is gonna be tied pretty well. Let's see, I get loose. Slipped. Yeah, not so bad. Oh, he is nice too. Let's see. You see that? That is a male pastel clown. I think he's six or seven hundred grams. I forgot. Um, he looks, he looks crazy. Yeah, I got this guy so that I could breed him next year. I got three girls that are pastels. Pet for clown. So I'll see if I can prove them out. If I'm lucky, maybe hit a killer clown on one of them at least. But he's a really nice pastel clown. So let me put this guy back in here. You got him pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. All up in the camera. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm back in the box for now. Using the bathroom over there. <laughs> oh, wow, that's nice. Right. Here we go with a male black pastel coral glow. <laughs> He's picking up the purple. Mm -hmm, yeah. There you go. Like. Yeah, so try to get him up to size. He's a 2013 animal, slowly grow, grown. So 
a couple hundred more grams, have them ready for next year. Got a ton of females to put them to. Yeah. He is nice. So, Coral Glow, you can see how uh, it's pretty much the same thing as a banana. Got all the black speckles all over. <coughs> He's real nice. All that nice orange and yellow in them. It's picking up good. I saved the best for last. Three. All right, sorry about that. We got cut off. I had to attend to my daughter real quick, but um, I'm gonna show the last two pickups that were in the big box. Um, this box was already open, so there's a no unboxing. Um, the breeder personally delivered these guys. He took his, the time out of his day to do so, rather than ship, which was cool. And see if I can get the snakes out well, without a hitch. One more. Let's see if she she gonna take it easy. There we go. So if you look, this is a female cherry bomb blood python, or also known as a T positive albino blood. And she is super active. Probably not gonna get the best pic uh, video with her. I'm trying to catch her colors. Yep, she's a really, really active snake. Really healthy and active. I got this girl from, well, this pair, because the next one that I'm going to take out is actually a male. I got this pair from Tim Rash, which has probably the best cherry bombs around. Well, it doesn't get much more red than that. You see all that green, army fatigue green color all over. All right, so I'm gonna put her away. Take out the male real quick. This guy is a lot more laid back. Alright, here he goes. He's absolutely gorgeous. And he will be using the bathroom really soon. So male cherry bomb. This was actually one of Tim's holdbacks, Grimace. I think I'm gonna be keeping that name. He has a nice white head. You see all the lavender. How much more lavender this one has than the female. And this guy still has a couple years of coloring up to do. So does the female. They're only going to get better with age. You can tell in that tail, that's all poop in there. We'll be using the bathroom real soon. You can see he's, a little, he's more laid back. Both great animals. Hold on, buddy. Get you in one stiff shot. So, you see all this color here, which should be lavender or purple. It looks more like a, a army fatigue green. That's how red this animal is. Red is starting to bleed in through the white and the purple making it crazier looking, I believe. This is one of the best albino lines out there when it comes to blood pythons. And this pair is specifically for each other, so in the near future, I'll hopefully be producing some cherry bombs, pure cherry bombs. None of those pink regular tea pods you see going around. Only the reddest animals. All this yellow, you see all the red in it. 
It's just crazy. He's filled with food though. Typical blood thing to hiss. But perfectly fine animal. Let's see. That's it. Later.